Deus in adiutorium, meum intente. Domine, ad adiuvandum me festina. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula, seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. Celi Deus Sanctissime, cui lucitum centrum poli, Cantore pingis in Yeo, Augens decor illumina. Quarto die cui flamea, Solis rotam constituens, Lune ministras ordini, Vagos recursus siderum, Ut noctibus velumini, Diremtionis terminum, Primordis et mensium, Signum dares notissimum, Illumina cor hominum, Absterge sortes mensium, Resolve colpe vinculum, e verte moles criminum, presta pater piissime, patrique comparunice, cum spiritu paraclito, regnans per omni seculum. Amen. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, what marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back. They come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. May the Lord build our house and guard our city. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your early arising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, 
Sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. May the Lord build our house and guard our city. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way, the primacy is His. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is, in him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way the primacy is his. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. To God, whose power now at work in us can do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, world without end. Amen. Claim me once more as your own, Lord, and have mercy on me. Claim me once more as your own, Lord, and have mercy on me. Do not abandon me with the wicked. Have mercy on me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Claim me once more as your own, Lord, and have mercy on me. Lord, mighty God, I give you praise, for you have counted me worthy to be among your martyrs who drink the cup of Christ's suffering. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He 
He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Santo. Sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Lord, mighty God, I give you praise, for you have counted me worthy to be among your martyrs who drink the cup of Christ's suffering. Let us humbly pray to God, who sent his Son as the Savior and exemplar of his people. May your people praise you, Lord. Let us give thanks to God, who chose us as the first fruits of salvation, and who called us to share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. May your people praise you, Lord. May those who confess your holy name be united in your truth and fervent in your love. May your people praise you, Lord. Creator of all things, your Son desired to work among men with his own hands. Be mindful of all who earn their living by the sweat of their brow. May your people praise you, Lord. Be mindful of those who devote themselves to the service of their brothers. Do not let them be deterred from their goals by discouraging results or lack of support. May your people praise you, Lord. Be merciful to the faithful departed. Keep them from the power of the evil one. May your people praise you, Lord. And for our brothers and sisters who are sick, for their consolation and complete recovery, we pray especially for Julie Martin, for Troy Raflick, for Fred Herrera, Juan Hun Jane Rimbai, and Dolores and Michael Morris. Through the intercession of Saint Andre Basset and Saint Joseph, Saint Peregrine, and Saint Polycarp, we put our full confidence in the Lord. May your people praise you, Lord. Pater Noster, qui es in celi. Sanctificator nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et imite nobis, Debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. God of all creation, who were pleased to give the bishop Saint Polycarp a place in the company of the martyrs. 
Grant through his intercession that sharing with him the chalice of Christ, we may rise through the Holy Spirit to eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Dominus nos benedicat, et ab malo defendat, et ad vita perducat eterna. Amen. Ave Regina Celorum, Ave Domina Angelorum, Salve Ratic, Salve Porta, Ex qua mundo lux est orta, Gaude Virgo Gloriosa, Super Omne Speciosa, Vale o valde decora et pro nobis Christum exora.